Hello! Welcome to another episode of Let Me Show You How. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail. I'm Tamara Bertram coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. The idea behind my Let Me Show You How series is to have a quick, easy project that you can crack off in no time, not a lot of thought, not a lot of prep. You're just going to get in, get out, get her done. Uh, that's exactly what we're doing today. So I'm going to turn off the comments because you know how I get distracted by my comments. So I'm not being rude. Uh, I just need to stay focused. So this video is about 10 minutes long. Here is the project I'm going to show you <clears throat> how to make. Uh, I might have shown it on one of my lives before. It's been on my yay list for about three weeks to be able to show you how to make it. It is so quick and easy and economical. Now, ladies, listen up. If you don't have this embossing folder, you need to get it. You need to get it. It makes this card ridiculously easy, clean, simple, and it's so ex inexpensive. And this die right now is on sale because it's retiring. It's on the last chance list, so it's only while supplies last. I seriously want to buy 10 because I know people are going to be disappointed when it's gone, and it will be gone soon. Um, this is uh, the Christmas Tidings folder. It's regular $11.75. In Canada, it's now $10.58. So it's on sale, like $10.58. And I will use this over and over and over and over because look, you don't even need to stamp a sentiment. You just tie a bow, you call her done. So when it comes to making uh, multiples, I'm making 20 of these, and I expect that I'll have this done uh, by no later than noon. Like we're talking 40, 40 minutes probably to make 20 of these cards. So the key to getting done quickly is I just, I spent maybe five minutes uh, prepping my pieces. So I've got my standard card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half. I've got 20 of them. You just chop them up, get her done. Or you dig into your stash, which, you know, I'm always telling you guys, just have a stack, like take a, take an entire pack of paper and cut them into card bases. Likewise, I already had a whole bunch of these layers cut. This is the top layer, which is uh, four and three quarters by three and a half. Yep, four and three quarters by three and a half. This is in the basic white. And then I've got the um, uh, sm mm, smoky slate. Yes, <laughs> the lighter gray. And that is just two ticks larger. So this is four and three quarters by three and a half. So this is four and three quarters plus two ticks by three and a half plus two ticks. Grown-ups will say that is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. Uh, or you could do five less two ticks by three and three quarters less two ticks. All right. So it's just going to give a little bit of a smidge of a layer or of, um, yeah, of a, of a layer. So it's just, it's a little bit of gray peeking out that really pulls silver because there's so little of it. It pulls silver. Um, and then we're going to bring in the silver and white uh, sheer ribbon. It's a half inch ribbon. It is, it's not retiring. It's carrying over. And I'm so glad I have, I'm not kidding. I have four rolls of it. Here they are. I stocked up because I wanted to make multiples of this card. And this is 1225 for these. I'm also bringing in some of the, uh, our rhinestone basic jewels just for a little bit of bling. And that's it. That's all you need for supplies. So it's quick and easy. So let me show you how. We are going to take our card base, fold it in half, use the bone folder, get a nice crisp edge. Almost done. We're going to take one of our layers, take our embossing folder. Now you probably see and know that there is a line on your embossing folder. Coda, Coda, come on alive here, dude. Put that right on the black line your cardstock to line it up so it's nice and straight. Close the door. This is not one of our thick embossing folders. It's one of our regular sized ones, meaning that you need two of our clear plates, not the thick plate. And you're going to sandwich it in between here. When you run it through your, your machine, you always put the seam first. Okay. If you don't, it will over time crack and break. Ask me how I know. So you always want to put the seam in first, run it through your machine. And I didn't do this earlier just to show you how quick and easy this card is. It's ridiculous. All right. So there, now we just have to assemble. And one day I'm going to buy a shirt where the sleeves stay rolled up. Today is not that day. Okay. A little bit of glue. And if you watch my lives on Monday, my mystery card Monday, uh, you'll know that when you have a highly embossed um, image, I like to use the liquid glue as the, the seal 
is longer and better. So I'll use the liquid glue on something that's highly embossed. I'm going to grab some dimensionals and some scissors because this is an empty pack. So we're going to snip it. We do not waste the edges of our dimensionals. Why would you do that? Don't do that. Okay. Grab my tool, my take your pick tool. I always like to use the corners first. <laughs> oh, oops. That's not a corner. Put the corners there. Not like that. Now, before I attach this, though, I need to do the ribbon. So, I haven't, I don't think I've, I don't use a lot of ribbon on my cards, so I probably haven't told you this trick in a long time. When you're doing a bow, Generally speaking, you want to do four and a half, depending on the, the width of your ribbon. If you're using a baker's twine, four lengths of your card front will be enough to tie a bow. So that would be one, two, three, four. When it's a little bit thicker, I do about four and a half to tie the bow, just to give me a little bit more um, length. And if it's a stiffer ribbon, you also want to do that as well. Now this guy's going to get in the way, so I'm actually going to take him off for now. Just roll it so that I can tie my ribbon in a bow. Okay, so you want the tails to be the approximate same length. This might even, yeah, maybe four was enough. We'll see. I'm not one for using a ruler and measuring. I just wrap it around my my card. So we'll do that. You see, I'm pushing down with my fourth finger in the middle, and then I'm going to make a bow. Nice big bow. This ribbon is so pretty. Pull it tight, super tight. Now it's curling, and that's fine because then what I'll do is I'll grab the ribbon. Uh oh. Oh, what happened there? Okay, my camera just wigged out. So, all right. So I'm gonna grab the ribbon here. I'm still live, right? Yeah, I am. So I'm gonna grab the ribbon here and I'm just going to pull. So it's flat now. It, it was pulling the ribbon, not the cardstock. So I like to grab the knot and pull till I get the, the, um, the bows the size I want. And I just keep kind of tweaking it till I get them the size and the tightness that I want. That's really pretty. I love that. A nice big loop. And then I'm going to trim it in a minute. I want this over to the left hand side. That's just where I like my bow, but really doesn't matter. To move it, you want to curl your, your cardstock like this, and then you can just drag it really easily. So it's going to go about there. Nice. Again, you want to grab the ribbon and pull it flat so it doesn't cut your paper. And then I'm going to put on another dimensional here. And now I'm going to pop it up on the dimensionals. Like seriously, I this card is, I love it. It's so quick and easy and it's so pretty. And you don't even need the sentiment because that embossing folder does all the work. Seriously, I might end, if, if it's still available when I make my next order, I'm going to buy a couple extras. <laughs> and you could even put this crooked, but this one I'm going to put straight. And then I'm going to grab my ribbon scissors and I'm going to just clean up these tails a bit so they're not quite so long. I'm going to grab my rhinestones. Where's my original card? I don't even know where it went. Checked it over the side somewhere. Right. So grab my rhinestones. Grab my putty. Oh, this one's brand new. What? Don't I have another one that's already got a putty in it? Probably do somewhere. You know I do. Forget. Probably know I do. This one's got some putty on it. All right, so I'm going to pick one up, put one there, put one down here, the medium one, and then the small one over here. Boom, you're done. That's it. Literally going to make 20 of these. Let me just pop in. I see there's a few of you watching me. See if I've got a comment or two. Hello, there's Joy, Jen, Carolyn, Donna, Laura. Hello, Laura. Laura, did you get my email? I sent you an email, but I don't know if you got it. Check your spam, if you would, please. Uh, thank you very much. Um, and send me a friend request. Uh, and if you see my email, you'll know why. Excellent. Okay. And Louise, hello. Good morning. So that's it. Um, 
20 of them. I will have this done by noon. So thank you very much for popping in. I'm going to post this on my blog. Uh, it'll be there by two o'clock this afternoon. I hope you make some and I really hope you get this embossing folder. It's everything and it's only $10.58. So thanks for popping in you guys and I will see you on Friday. Thanks.